a store that's been around almost 100 years, Ross Seed Company is no stranger to shoplifters, but their most recent certainly merits recognition. This is a little unique simply because of how large the item was. An echo chainsaw was the thief's target, but he didn't simply grab it and run. He tried to hide it. I felt sorry for him. I thought the gentleman was crippled. He said, he said, he's pulled his pants up. I said, no, he's got a chainsaw down him. <laughs> I've seen the bar between his legs. It's pretty obvious. He's yeah. imagined it in in front of your pants. That's right. The crook had shoved the chainsaw down his shorts. But alert employees noticed, and the chase was on. They cornered him in a nearby field where he ditched the chainsaw, climbed a tree, then scrambled down into someone's house. He went around the corner, went into this house. The guy says, get out of my house. They continued to chase him to a nearby creek where the man dove in head first. And we see his head just only his head visible sticking out of the water. Police say 21-year-old Anthony Black appeared intoxicated when they pulled him from the water. He could have cut himself up real good. Yeah. Um, he could have been walking with a permanent limb. First time I've ever seen a chainsaw go down anybody's britches tooth. The hardware store manager says this crime was a first on many levels. But all's well that ends well. The crook was arrested and the loot was recovered. So ended the story of the chainsaw bandits.